This video focuses on docket reports and how to generate something such as a 30-day or possibly a 60 or 90-day docket report. So we're in our at tasks module. We're looking at all open tasks. We're going to go ahead and generate a 60-day docket report for uh, Alice Black. And we can re do these reports based on who owns the tasks or potentially we'd want to do it where if a, an attorney had their matters and some individuals were responsible for some of the underlying tasks, they just may want to see a landscape of everything coming due, even if they're not individually responsible. So we're going to do this first as um, the owner, the task owner, as opposed to who the attorney is. So to start, we're going to click on Add Filters. Right off the bat, this opened with Respond by Next 60 Days. Uh, normally, it may open, you know, alphabetically up here. But the column we're going to be looking for is Respond by, which is due date. Then, in this case, we're going to use Next 60 Days. So you've got a whole bunch of different ways to do date ranges. Maybe you wanted to do everything coming due this quarter um, or this month. There's different ways to do it. So we're going to do next 60 days. I'm going to click the Add button. This is going to open up and show us that of the 91 open tasks, 40 of them are due in the next 60 days or that they are past due because we also will capture past due items in a next 30 or next 60 day report. Now we need owner. We're going to do owner equals Alice Black. So we're going to scroll down to the owner column and we're going to pick Alice Black. You can select multiple rows if you needed to. Now we're going to click add and we've got eight rows that meet this criteria. When you're ready to return your results, you're going to click the execute button. And now we've got eight tasks due in the next 60 days by Alice Black, or this includes items that are past due as well. Now we could easily save this as a report. We're going to click Save View as Report, and I already copied it in here, but we were going to name this, for example, Alice 60 Day Docket. And I'm going to click Save. Our report already exists. When that happens, we can overwrite the existing report, but there's already one saved here, so I'll go ahead and leave it, Alice 60 Day Docket. And you can click this drop down and run this anytime you want. So we've got our list here. Next, we're going to quickly go ahead and do a report on where Alice is the attorney and not necessarily the owner of tasks. And you'll see that some of these are owned by other people, but Alice may want to see everything that's coming due under her responsibilities. We're going to edit filters, and we're going to change owner. I'm going to get rid of that filter, and we're going to select matter attorney. And now we're going to pick Alice again. Click add. And now we've got more rows. So we're going to click Execute. And we can see we have a handful of tasks that are owned by other people, even though Alice is the attorney. So that's kind of more of a landscape. I want to see everything that's coming due for my matters, <clears throat> even if I'm not directly responsible for certain tasks. And then, of course, you can save that again. Perhaps you want to give it another name, Alice attorney docket as opposed to owner something along those lines so that's how you can create docket reports you are able to schedule these to run whenever you want and those will be in a separate video thank you